Hello and welcome to today's lesson on the national grid, which is part of the magnetic fields topic in AQA A-level physics. So in today's lesson, we're going to look at understanding how power loss is reduced in the national grid. So this is the current setup of the national grid in the United Kingdom. The first thing you've got is a step-up transformer, which is used to increase the potential difference, which will increase the efficiency in our transmission cables. And then that's linked to the step-down transformers, which decrease the potential difference to make it safe to use so in our in our national grid we have our step up transformer our transmission lines and our step down transformer so a step up transformer looks like the following now this transformer is found before the electricity travels through the transmission cables and at this transformer the potential difference goes up the current goes down but the power in our transformer stays constant now a step down transformer looks like the following now another name for a step down transformer is a sub station. Now here, these types of transformers are found after the electricity has travelled through the transmission cables, and in a step-down transformer, the potential difference goes down, the current goes up, but the power of the transformer stays constant. So the electrical energy in our national grid is produced originally at the power station. Now the potential difference at the power station is 25,000 volts, so the potential difference is then increased after it leaves the power station, which is what the step-up transformer it does. So a step up transformer raises the voltage to approximately 132,000 volts so less current is needed to transfer the same amount of power. So this means a lower current passes through our transmission cables. Now the energy loss is due to the heating effect of the current where energy is dissipated to the internal energy of the surroundings are reduced to almost zero. But then we need to lower the potential difference at the end of the transmission cables before we can use this mains electricity at home. So the high potential difference and low current in the transmission lines minimizes the energy dissipation to the internal energy of the surroundings, i.e. it increases the efficiency of power transmission. Now transformers therefore are useful because the transmission over electrical power of electrical power over long distances is much more efficient at a high voltage than a low voltage. So at the end of our tra of our transfer of power, at the end of our transmission cables, the electrical energy re reaches homes, it reaches schools, it reaches shops, it reaches factories, and which it needs to power, so the potential difference is then stepped down to 230 volts, making it safer to use for our consumer, which is what the step down transformer does in our national grid. So to clarify, our national grid consists of the following. You have generation, and in a power station, electricity is generated at 25,000 volts via electromagnetic induction. You then have your step up transformer. A step up transformer increases the potential difference to about 132,000 volts in our transmission cables because if the cable has a high current it would dissipate a lot of energy to the internal energy of the surroundings due to resistance so there before we have a high potential difference and therefore low current to increase the efficiency of electrical energy transmission then finally a step down transformer decreases the potential difference to 230 volts so it is safe to use for the consumer so if we did not have transformers the high current current needed to power devices in our modern world will be quickly dissipated due to the high resistance in transmission cables. So to consider how the national grid transfers electrical power over a large distance efficiently, we've got to consider the transmission cables of the national grid. So what we've got as the um, current passes through the transmission cables, you have a resistance in the actual cable, which is due to the atoms and ions which make up the transmission cable. So the resistance in the transmission cable causes energy to be lost to the internal energy of the surroundings. So a high current would lead to a high power loss. So therefore energy will be quickly dissipated to the internal energy of the surroundings. So as a result, no electrical energy will be present at the consumer output. So the devices in schools, in factories, in homes, in shops would not work. Now we can calculate the power loss from the electrical cable to the surroundings with the equation power loss is equal to I squared R. Now remember I has to be the I RMS, the root mean square value, as we're looking at alternating current. So this shows us that a high current will dissipate a large power from our cable and a low current will dissipate little power from our transmission cable. Now it's the aim of the step up transformer to reduce 
reduce the current to the lowest possible value in the transmission cable. Now note, we can also achieve a low value of power loss by having a low value of resistance in our equation. Now we can achieve this by making the transmission cable out of a low resistivity material. Now, transformers work on the principle that the power in the transformer is constant. Now the transformers are considered about this because they have an efficiency of 100% and we can use this idea to lower current in the cables to allow our energy transfer to be very efficient. So consider our equation to work out the power in our transformer to be power equals potential difference times by current. And it's important to remember that in the national grid the electrical power is constant throughout a transformer. Now just be very careful, the power loss from the transmission cable can vary but the electrical power entering that cable from the transformer must remain constant. So because the power in the transformer has to remain constant, if we increase our potential difference we decrease our current and this gives us a little power loss in our transmission cable because the I in the equation P equals I squared R is now lower. Now we can also go the other way round and we can increase our current which would decrease our potential difference. Now this will give a large power loss in our transmission cable because I is a lot higher value now but we do this to make the potential difference value safe to use at home. Now again remember in our values of potential difference and current we've got to use the RMS values as alternating power is used in our national grid. So transformers are useful because the transmission of electrical power over long distances is more efficient at a higher voltage compared to a lower voltage. The power in a transformer is constant as we assume the transformer is ideal. It is 100% efficient. And we can calculate the power in the transformer with the equation P equals IRMS times by VRMS. Now the power lost in the transmission cable can vary for a cable and we calculate this with the equation power lost is equal to IRMS squared times by R. Now we can combine these two equations because they've got a common term of, term of IRMS. So, we can actually say that power lost in the cable is equal to P squared R over V squared, where P is the power from the transformer. Now, the equation P equals I squared R, the power loss in the transmission cable, indicates to us that a low current in the transmission cables reduces the power loss from the cable, whilst the second equation, power loss equals P squared R over V squared, indicates a high voltage in the transmission cables reduces the power Power lost from the cable. And both equations, both P equals I squared R and P equals P squared R over V squared, indicate a low resistance in the cable reduces the power loss from the transmission cable. Now we can achieve this from either making the cable with a thicker diameter or making the cable with the material of a lower resistivity. So what have we learnt in today's lesson? The transformer equation is NS over MP equals VS over VP. Our Transformer e efficiency is I squared IS VS over IP VP. We understand what eddy currents are, we understand the causes of inefficiency in a transformer, and from this particular lesson, understand transmission of electrical power at high voltage, including calculations of power loss in the transmission lines. So, if we've been successful in today's lesson, we can understand and explain how this transformer works, we can recall the transformer equation, and then finally understand how this links to the national grid. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on the National Grid, which is part of the magnetic fields topic in AQAA level physics. Thank you very much for listening to today's lesson and have a lovely day.